I'd like to give you a very simple demonstration on how to use the Prismacolor double-ended art markers and illustration markers. I'm going to do this little horse and for this I would need the minimum amount I would need would be the brush illustration marker, a 10% gray double-ended marker, a 30% cool gray, and a 50% cool gray. And to start with, I'm going to start with my 10% gray and I'm going to come in and I'm going to use a circular motion and I'm going to press really, really quite firmly here with the wide end of the marker. And I had a pony when I was young and I know there are lots of people out there that still love their love their horses and love to draw horses and color horses and so that's why I chose a horse. Next time I'll choose something a little more complicated for those of you that are a little more advanced and maybe all of you will be more advanced by the time I demonstrate that. So here I'm going to go in and the whole idea with alcohol based markers as opposed to watercolor markers is to saturate the paper with alcohol. It's a lot like watercolor. Once my paper is heavily saturated, I am able to mix and blend colors. And it's a little bit different than paint because I don't use primary and secondary. I choose a light and a medium or a medium and a dark of the same color. Now I'm making my horse a little bit different than that other one but that's okay that's the fun of this and I'll show you some others that I've done when I finish here. Now I'm going to move to the 30 percent gray and I'm going to put some shadow areas in. So I'm putting some shadow under the chin here inside of the ear, side of this ear, maybe I'll even go down the side of the face here a little bit If it starts getting streaky, I just start pressing harder. I want to put some shadow here under the mane. And I'm going to put a little more shadowing on the neck here. This is making a shadow, as well as some shadows from this part of the mane. All right. And this part of the leg here gets a little shadow also. Next I'm going to move to the 50% gray and I'm going to add even more dark now. You can see how that's blending in there quite nicely. And I could even add some mane with this just by holding it on the tip and creating some dagger-like strokes. But I really want to use the brush marker now and just show you how I can finish this off with the illustration marker. And this is a dagger-like stroke. I'm pressing hard and then I'm let letting off so I can make broad strokes up here. Wild crazy hair on this horse. I'm a hairstylist for a horse. Isn't that funny? So this horse is shaking its head and making its mane go every which way here. A very funny fashion. I'll go in and I'm going to do the eye and I'm going to leave a little white in the eye. I might make a little eyelash here if I if I want to without messing up that eye totally. A very feminine horse. And you can see how I would finish finish this up doing more and more and more with my marker to make this wonderful, wonderful hairstyle. And then I will go around it here with my marker and outline. And I want to show you my other examples here before I run out of time on my film. So I will do that and let you finish that up.
Here is another one that I did and I put some polka dots on it like an Appaloosa. Here is one using French grays instead of the cool gray markers. Here's one using brick beige, walnut, and light walnut. And here's my fun, fanciful one using a number of bright colors. So I hope you'll give this a try. It's quite easy and it requires minimum amount of equipment to do. Bye until next time.